Hey guys, uh, this is Gay Painted What, at Gay Painted What. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna be uh, doing some great uh, painting and drawing here today. Um, first of all, just wanna announce, I got brought on Sega this week. Started on Monday, totally excited. It's gonna be a great fit for Sega. Gonna be great for me. If there's one thing I know, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and if there's another thing I know, it's drawing. So get ready for this. Um, let's get started. You guys, important, important to think about Sonic as a holistic character and really work on angles and colors and, and, and paintbrushes and making sure the character comes to life with the quills starting first on top here. So I'm just gonna get started drawing that first quill. I know, I know. It, this and the second quill come boom, boom. That's how I do it, boom, boom. And I do it really quick. I make sure it's really tight, looks good, looks honest, looks genuine. Art is about being genuine, guys. Moving to the third quill. So this third quill obviously looks a little bit different. If you're not a pro, if you're a beginner, don't worry. This is gonna take a few times to get it done right. <laughs> I am a master at my craft, so it's a little bit of a different process for me. And the tail especially. Um, that tail at the end here, guys, I can't, look at it. Look at the angle. This is different than what you're doing on the quills. The quills look different than the tail. The tail is different. So don't think it's the same thing. Approach it differently, be a pro. All right, we're moving the legs. I just did a, the second leg here, finishing up. What do you notice about these? They're spindly. Sonic runs fast, doesn't store fat. I'm, I gotta be a genuine artist. I gotta be a real, real honest thinker about this. And I do it real, and I make them spindly. Now, we're talking about the rest of the body. Guys, this is not done yet. We are more than 50% um, there, but we still got a long ways to go. One eyeball, I like to do one eyeball for Sonic. Um, he only has one eyeball and he has two pupils. Uh, so make sure you, you do that. And moving on to another color here, guys, with the uh, peach. I'm using a peach for the mouth. So obviously this is a mouth, pretty obvious. Um, filling it in. Um, you can see how the mouth um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring this paintbrush size a little bit bigger. Guys, great trick I just learned recently is bigger paintbrush size, uh, bigger uh, area of coverage on the, on the uh, painting that you'll do. Circles on the body here, feeling good about this. Yeah, I mean, it looks smooth, looks easy, but I've done this, I've, you know, I've racked up over 10,000 10, hours on this. Um, so even if you just could pull six to 12 hours a day, practicing your circles, making sure they look right, making sure they look honest and genuine, and that you're being a passionate artist, um, that'll be big. So now we've done the body, we're gonna move into the shoes. Red for the shoes, guys. Pizza, pizza, pizza. That's what I say when I do the shoes. Um, red, triangular shaped pizzas. All right, so they look good. You fill them in with the paintbrush, and we're gonna go back to black. Switching paint colors, guys is a art and a science. So you wanna to go to bra uh, red to black, do it quickly and be able to do these two eyes and the bean shaped nose. Bean shaped guys. Most important part I think is the smirk. See how I did that? Same color on the smirk, Sonic attitude, really looks great. Five fingers here guys on uh, Sonic's uh, hand and then the arms cross over, really give an attitude. This is when art comes to life, personality um, and that, you know, comes from the artist. It comes from the person drawing, which in this case is me, um, because I got attitude and I want to bring that out in Sonic. Um, the socks come close to last here, just because they're last doesn't mean they're not important. All right, guys. So let's let's start filling things in now. Um, you can fill in you can fill in the paint in bigger uh, paintbrush sizes, like we said, so that you don't end up spending uh, three days filling in Sonic uh, with blue. Um, it's, it could be really, 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 really time consuming if you don't use a bigger paintbrush size. So here I'm, I'm getting in the quills there very carefully and then moving the healing brush. Healing brush, what is it? It's a tool, what's it for? It's gonna make you a master. There's a difference between a pro and an amateur is using this heel brush right. Making sure that you are doing it in a way that's delicate, sharp, focused, and really, really intent so that you don't end up smudging it. Don't end up coming with another character. It's happened to me. Gotta do this right. I'm doing it quickly. Again, I'm a master of my craft. So things come a little bit quicker, but for you, I take it slowly and really use the healing brush in a way that brings out Son the edges nicely and brings out Sonic's personality. There you go, guys. Boom. Uh, 
pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy. If you want to watch it again, totally understand. Um, this doesn't come overnight. So thanks for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, Gay painted what?